President, uh, many of the reforms we constantly call for in Turkey come together in the saga of the repeated closure of Kurdish political parties, of which that of the DTP last month is only the latest. The continued failure to reform the constitution, the law on political parties and the judiciary, as well as the continued involvement of the military in politics, all of these influence the context in which Kurdish democratic political representation is repeatedly sabotaged. These closures also sabotage the democratic opening launched last year by the Erdogan government and which was rightly wi widely welcomed. The only way to get a durable settlement to the Kurdish question in Turkey is through a political solution and that's the best way to combat the PKK. Commissioner Rain talked about several mayors and DTP politicians being arrested but my information is about 1,200 people, uh, 1,200 activists are in prison including of the BDP party which has succeeded the DTP. I'm not clear at all how the government intends to strengthen its democratic opening in this context. Who is calling the shots on these arrests? I've heard it said, I think it was by Richard Howard, that Prime Minister Erdogan did condemn the DTP closure, although I confess I missed that development. A cynic might say that electorally it suits the AK party rather well to have the DTP closed, as they're electoral rivals in the southeast. I agree with those like Mrs. Indefeld and Mrs. Flotter that a solid and reliable assurance to Turkey that it will join the EU if it meets the Copenhagen criteria is the best leverage we have for democratization in Turkey, though they owe it to themselves too. Turkey is an important and a, and a country that has many great assets and it needs and it deserves democracy. Finally, I add my own thanks to Commissioner Rain for all he's done for enlargement in the last five years, not only concerning Turkey, but also close to my heart, the Western Balkans. And I look forward to welcoming him soon in his new portfolio.